What's up, YouTube? I just love when we have old cars in here. And then we have nothing but issues with doing the job. So we have an 04 Volkswagen here that has water damage on the interior. It's been sitting more than it's been driven. Uh, and it's here for air conditioning. So I diagnosed it as a compressor. Uh, I want to do a receiver dryer. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> so here's how the story goes. We got the compressor in. Uh, we got the receiver dryer in, but that was after four or five hours of farting around with it because the dowel pins were seized to everything. So in the end, we were able to save one line and then the top line got butchered because we just couldn't get it apart gently and that's part of the AC condenser. So then we call the customer and say, hey, you know, this is becoming a project. Their corrosion is becoming a, a big nightmare for this job. We need an AC condenser. Do the AC condenser. Um, the plastic underneath the car here is already all busted up. So I needed to remove another piece of it. Bolts just started snapping off in the plastic shit. Um, we get the front end off, change the condenser, put that in, fire the system up. Uh, the secondary fan is struggling to come on that is for the condenser. So you bang on it, it tries to move. Call the customer and say, hey, we need another part. The condenser fan is not working. Why didn't you tell me all this from the, from the get? Uh, well, we have to get the AC system working and test the system once it's up and running. And the compressor now works and the condenser is replaced and the uh, receiver dryer is not leaking. And we need another part. Oh my God, this, that, and the other thing. Bitching and complaining. And I'm like, listen, dude. I don't even want to work on your car. Um, it has been such a nightmare, and I stuck to my original labor charges for the original work, which exceeded double the book time to get your car apart because of rust issues. Double. I said, and the condenser was additional time uh, with issues there, and I stuck to that labor time. And then now we're into the, the radiator fan. <laughs> so I'm like, does this does this get any better? The uh, the bolts that hold the fan in are all rusted out. The heads. This one here has already broke off. Let me just show you. So this one's broke off in the radiator. The other one is nothing but sheer rust up at the top there. I did get this bottom one out. So now the car technically needs a radiator. And now I gotta call this guy back to hear him cry some more and, and say, well, if I knew it needed all this work, and this is what he said before, I probably would have never did the job. That's not my problem. This is your car. This is your car. This is your car, not my car. And I'm only dealing with as it's coming apart. And things are just falling apart in my hands because it's your car, not mine. But it's just constant bullshit with workings on some cars. And then, then they hear the customer just complain uh, about it. Just makes my blood boil. And then this specific customer, since I've been doing business with him, for years when they had a used car dealership, now they no longer do, and they're not really a regular customer, I, I give him a, uh, a special labor rate because of the relationship from the years, but I'm kind of getting ready to just terminate that relationship because this isn't worth working on for the, for the wholesale labor rate, not at all. So, what a fucking nightmare this has become. Like, I thought this was gonna be a simple radiator fan swap and in, no. Ugh. 